Hello class and welcome to this installment of our insightful classroom series where we cover five historical figures to fill and expand your young mind with knowledge. These individuals played a crucial role in pioneering many of the advances we see and use today. Today we begin with the men and women of the science and inventions field. From slave to inventor, holding six patents, Andrew Jackson Beard was born on a plantation in Woodland, Alabama in 1849, just before the end of slavery. He received freedom at the age of 15 and became a farmer in a city called Pinson near Birmingham, Alabama. He worked in a flour mill for several years until 1872. When Beard would build his flour mill and operated this successfully for many years, he would later go on to make an improvement to the traditional farming plows and in 1881 he designed his first patented invention, the double plow, which he later sold in 1884 for $4,000, which is almost $100,000 in today's currency. In 1887, he improved on his previous design to patent a second double plow, which he later sold for $5,200, about $130,000 in today's currency, and invested this earning into real estate. After working with and studying engines, Andrew designed a rotary steam engine and two patents for his invention. Not stopping there, they patented two improvements to the Johnny Coupler. The Johnny Coupler was a mechanism which held train cars together in the early days of American railroading. Prior to this, car coupling as it's known was extremely dangerous as it was a manual task requiring railroad worker to stand between cars and drop a metal pin into place at the exact moment the cars came together. Many railroad men lost fingers, arms and hands and Andrew even lost a leg in a car coupling accident. Weird idea secured two cars by merely bumping them together turning it into an automatic process. One of the patents for this idea was sold for $50,000 in 1897, equivalent to $1.5 in today's currency. 